Carlos Brickmaster. So today I got a new Lego set that is from the Lego Friends line. And it is the Lego Friends Dog Rescue Van, which retails for $30. But I got it on sale at Walmart for $24. And it comes with two mini dolls and one pet. And an interesting little backstory on the set. Or a little lore in the set. So yeah, let's get into the video. So let's look at the mini dolls. First of the mini dolls is Nova, which does has this extra face print, which I'm going to show right now. It's this little sad face, which this is her normal face, which is just like a little cheeky smile. And then we get her first expression that's actually different from being smiling, and it's a sad face. Her torso is currently exclusive to the set, but in 2024, maybe it'll, it'll release in another set. And it's not the most accurate to like this actual episode or the instructions where it shows like white straps stripes but oh well and it's a hard plastic for the hair little pin she also get this phone accessory which is nothing new or it's new for 2023 and these new legs that are kind of curvy and since this is an older mold that they use the arms aren't that strong and you can see that it has the little minifigure hands like there so you could see it under the torso and also you can see it has a little bit of crack so maybe lego should start using the new mini doll torso mold so it won't break or crack so easily because i just got this out the box dr marlin which i'm gonna assume is the vet of this set and since this is part of the little vet sub theme that they had he does have this little vet little logo and i do like his outfit it's a really nice stylish outfit his face has some like squinted eyes so i guess he's some asian but in the episodes his eyes are massive so i don't really understand it's kind of inconsistent i like the hair in black no back torso printing but he does look like a cool mini doll now let's get on to the last i guess character this sad pickle where he has a little bit of scratches on his i'm gonna assume his head his forehead and we do get this new mold that is new for 2023, but it's going to be used in the years following. Um, and we can see how the wheel is like an old one. And then obviously you could change the color to the other wheel, which I'll show later in the set when we get into the actual vehicle. But that's pretty much it. And obviously you could move them around like that. So now let's get onto the side build. This set has a story and it's kind of similar to the episode. So... Before I start the story, let's just look at the build. We do get this little purple bus stop, which I do like these little panels in a lavender, which are new. And we can see once I just take this apart, there's a sticker that shows the phone number to the little vet clinic on this little bright light orange bench. And the little box, which is so cool and creative how they designed this to make it look like a box tilted over. And then also there was supposed to be this little newspaper that shows the dog being missing. It's the same one as the one in the little dog rescue bike. And we can see it has a sticker saying fragile, and a little sad face and a sign that says no dogs, and a little flower bush, which I think looks kind of boring. It looks kind of weird. And then we can see the box tilted on the side. And then we can see the little play feature, which I'm gonna show right now with the dog. So you're supposed to have the dog or pickle just right here and then we can have nova walking by and then we could just push the button and then the dog comes out of the little box and then you could like initiate the story and that's a really cool feature but that's pretty much the only feature in this little part of the side build so yeah it's a bit of a empty kind of build for back here i think they should have added something else so here's the actual van that rescues dogs. So I do actually kind of like the color scheme. I don't know why, but it's just such a positive, bright, happy color scheme. We do get a sticker of this little happy dogs. And we can see the front of it, which has this yellow piece and another sticker of it. And it does look really nice. We could see Heart Lake sitting some random numbers. And we can see the bottom of it, which is nothing interesting. Um, and then we can see the sides and then the back of it where you can see another one of the same exact plate. And now we can actually go inside the vehicle. So let's first look inside the front of the car, which I can just pop that out. So in the front, we could see there is, let me just remove this window, a sticker of the little paw prints for the little cushion and the steering wheel and a little spot to have the mini doll 
actually driving the vehicle since they're not like minifigures where they could stick on stuff they just had to stick on those little pins and obviously you can see where the vehicle is supposed to be like that connect it and then obviously the mini doll fits in perfectly and now let's actually look inside the little i guess cleaning area or a little help area for the pet i show that this does detach and under it is this little crowbar which is in red which is not that rare it's kind of common opening it up you can see that it is not going to be able to fit onto the actual vehicle you have to physically take it out so here on the front we can see the sticker of this weird thing i don't even want to say what it looks like but you get these new tires and this turquoise which i do love the tires and turquoise for skateboards it's really nice but obviously you can play it and use it for pickle to use a different version Whereas the wheelchair looking thing we get a sticker of little medical and cleaning supplies we do get another sticker for food and a little bow that you could put on pickle if you wanted to obviously these are detachable for little play features obviously we get a little food area just so you can have the dog ready to have in fed since it might be malnourished we do get this little bathing area which has this bathtub this little shower head which has this little blue flame but just turn blue so it looks like water and then we do get this little soaps and the brush which you could take that out too have the little pink soap and then have the little orange brush to like brush pickle so you can have a little play experience with it and then obviously you cannot really fit any mini doll or actually you might be able to fit a minifigure if you have it not have that much space but it could fit some of the doll but not the most strongest so it's not really good to store figures besides maybe pickle if you took off the wheel and that's pretty much it but that's pretty much it for the build now let's look at the box so here is the box art of the set which you can see all the stuff it has that's important obviously the mini dolls on the side and you can see how their face does look different from the one i'm actually there um you can see how mine is a bit busted but you can see also <laughs> I, can, I love saying I could see, but you can see all this new graphic design art you can see on the side. Um, all this. On the back, you could see what is listed in the set and all the play features that you can have in the storyline. Um, then, obviously, there's this. Nothing really important, but that's just how the box looks. So, if you want to know how this looks inside the store. Okay, so now I'm going to get my thoughts on the set. So this set retailed for $30 and the price per piece ratio is definitely good. You get 300 pieces. So I think this is out of like, I guess the amount it cost is definitely a 4 to 5. Now I'm going to get the design. The color scheme for this is not that pretty. I think they could have added maybe like a bonsai tree or some tree of some sort that like looks better than the little bush because the bush is a very dead looking bush it don't really look like a bush it looks just like random leaves growing out the box um so for overall design i do like the color scheme of each of them they do really go well with the new i guess rebranding of the friends theme so i guess i would give it a four out of five in terms of targeting the demographic which is six plus so kids who are six year old should be able to be more advanced into building lego so they could build this more easily i think this would be like a three because some of this may be a little bit difficult for a six-year-old because six-year-olds i think you're like in kindergarten or first grade so it may be a little bit difficult but i mean it's good that you're having a little bit of a challenge with this new lego set that's really interesting in terms of extra stuff so i'm just gonna say like storyline definitely a five out of five just because this one you could really have different stories to play with this one and it's really nice and also i just wanted to say that this bus stop it's kind of a shameless plug for lego to say oh buy our bus set <laughs> that they have at like the lego store and at legoland where you have to buy the bus so you can have it be like an actual story but it doesn't really matter so besides that i'll give this whole set overall a four out of five and and that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe turn on notifications to be notified when i post a new video and i'll see you in my next video so bye oh.